the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Today, as we gather together, it's Monday morning, it's in the tenth week of Ordinary Time, and we're just a day out of the wonderful Feast of the Most Holy Trinity, and we're looking forward to the Feast this Sunday of the Body and Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And between that time, we have wonderful readings. The first readings are going to mention encouragement seven times. Seven in the Bible is the perfect number. And so we're looking for perfect encouragement from God, that perfect peace. And then we're going to hit the Beatitudes in the Gospel. Wow, one of the best passages ever. And we'll just expound on that a little bit. It'd be a wonderful teaching. I hope you're ready and open your hearts. And so that we can prepare our hearts to be open. Let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth with all the holy ones throughout Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all encouragement, who encourages us encourages us in every affliction so that we may be able to encourage those who are in any affliction with the encouragement with which we ourselves are encouraged by God. For as Christ's sufferings overflow to us, so through Christ does our encouragement also flow. If we are afflicted, it is for your encouragement and salvation. If we are encouraged, it is for your encouragement which enables you to endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is firm, for we know that as you share in the sufferings, you also share in the encouragement. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Suffer your foot to slip. May he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel.
rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Lord, be in our minds and on our lips and in our hearts. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I thought I'd just teach a little bit about the Beatitudes. I'll just touch on each one, just, just lightly. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The poor in spirit are those who are not greedy, for those who are not selfish. If we think of someone who's always unhappy, it's always the greedy person, it's always the selfish person. They never seem to have peace, they never seem to be happy. And so that word blessed also means happy. Happy are those who are pure and poor in spirit. They're not the selfish ones, they're not the greedy ones but they've emptied out their spirit. They want nothing of this world because they know if they attach to the things of this world, they can't be happy, they can't enjoy the things of heaven in their hearts. And so blessed are those who mourn, they will be comforted. Not everyone who mourns is blessed, but those who mourn for their sins are truly happy, are truly blessed. And so we want to talk about the contrite of heart. And we always offer ourselves in the Mass with contrite hearts. And we always say, through my fault, through my fault. Because we want to participate fully in the heavenly mystery. And so we want to truly mourn, as Jesus talks about. We want to be truly contrite of heart. We open our whole soul up to the goodness of God. Blessed are the meek, they will inherit the land. That's the humble. And the Bible tells us, and Mary tells us, especially in the Magnificat, that the Lord raises up the humble, raises up the meek, but the mighty he casts down. The full he sends away empty. And so we want to always have contrite hearts, but also humble and contrite hearts, because God will fill us with every good gift. So blessed and that land that they inherit, by the way, it says they'll inherit the land. What is that land? The promised land. And in the Old Testament, it was the land of Israel. But for us, what's the promised land? It's heaven. It's eternal life. It's that wonderful gift of eternal life. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. What's that mean? Hunger and thirsting is like our wants. And when we want only God, God will satisfy that hunger, will satisfy that want. But when we want other things, we can never get enough. Have you ever noticed that? It just seems once we get what we really want, we want something else and we get tired of that thing. And so the people who want the things of this world are always just wanting more. They're never happy. But those who want God, God fulfills their desire and gives them the desire of their heart. They are truly happy. Blessed are the merciful. They will be shown mercy. The opposite of mercy are those who judge. And Jesus says, don't judge and you won't be judged. James says, don't judge and you won't be judged. Paul says the same thing. But they also say, to the merciful, God will be merciful. To those who judge, God will judge. And so, to avoid all judgment, we want to be merciful and kind to everybody and all the time. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. 
This is like, um, the opposite of this is like clutter. It's like hoarders. It's like a spiritual hoarding. People who fill their heart with just this hoarding, they can't even see because the place is so full and it's so cluttered. But when we clean out our heart, not only can we see in this world, we can see God truly and purely because we've emptied our hearts from wanting the things of this world so much. Blessed are the peacemakers, they'll be called children of God. Everyone who seems to have one of these near-death experiences, they die, they, they go to heaven or something like it, and they say, wow, the peace was so powerful. The peace was so much there. Why? Because God is peace. When Jesus comes back from the resurrection of the dead, he says to his disciples, peace be with you. That's the promise we have. We have that peace that passes understanding, that peace of heaven. We can live it here if we're in God. So we become peacemakers. We share that peace with everyone we have because we're born of God. We are children of God. And finally, let's just close with this. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. If you're persecuted, what is someone doing? They're denying you the things of this world. And you know what? When someone denies you the things of this world, they just open up every opportunity for you to hold to the things of that world. Hold to the things of heaven. Hold to the things that make us truly happy and why we were created and why we were baptized in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Yeah, let them take away everything of this world. I'm from another town. I'm a child of heaven. That's just a little introduction to the Beatitudes. I wanted to touch on each one just lightly, and I hope you've had some fun with that. I hope you learned a little bit, because wow, what a beautiful, wonderful teaching, and what a wonderful faith we have. And the intention of today's Mass is not mentioned, but uh, we, because we don't have an intention for Monday, so just give your intention. What is it that you most want to pray for? What's the thing you want to lift up to God in your need? And make that the intention of your Mass today. Loving Heavenly Father, as we come to you, we offer our church, we offer uh, just for a renewing, really. We want you to renew the church. We know that in these times of crisis, you're always bringing a lot of change into your church. Lord, let us be open to the movement of the Holy Spirit in this time and not try to resist the Holy Spirit. Let us uh, just find ourselves renewed and refreshed in this time we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our world too, that through these times of crisis we might come out uh, also uh, just better than when we came in. Lord, let all this work together for good, for your glory we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our Holy Redeemer, our church, Lord, just in every way let us live out the Beatitudes in our hearts, with our will, with all our devotion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, and for those who are in any need of any kind, we lift them up to you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, that they might see the face of God this day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And Lord, for those who grieve, that they could be comforted, we pray to the Lord. And for that special intention, in each home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. And we bring all these prayers to you, our loving Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for us. Lord, we ask you to receive us, to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer in humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me sins. And now pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Holy Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it. To his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks and praise he gave the chalice to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Earl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and gl glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
My peace I give you. Look not on her sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to a Pray our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now physically receive you at this moment, come spiritually into my heart. You are already there. I embrace you and unite myself fully to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word of my soul. Streams of mercy never ceasing Call for songs of loudest praise Teach me some melodious sonnet Song by flaming tongues above Praise the mount I'm fixed upon it Mount of thy redeeming Lost in utter darkness Till you came and rescued me I was bound by all my sin When your love came and set me free Now my soul can sing a new song Now my heart has found a home now your grace is always with me And I'll never be alone Oh, to grace, how great a debtor Daily I constrained to be Let thy goodness like a feather Bind my wandering heart to thee Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it Prone to leave the God I love Here's my heart, Lord, take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it, prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, Lord, take and seal it, seal it for
Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I hope you enjoyed the little teaching on the Beatitudes. If you didn't get a chance to listen in depth, come back to it. Just listen to that homily again, and just pick one of those things, and just let God just change us, transform us by the power of God's Word. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.